So if you follow me on social media, you may know this already, but I feel like I need to do a little bit of a rant about it. So I have had an adventure over the course of the last, say, three weeks when it comes to my video editing software. Now, for years, I was a Caden Live guy, right? I, I preferred Caden Live just fine. I, I didn't say I would prefer it. I was like, it was good. It was good enough. It did the job. And, you know, whatever I needed to do, it could do it. And then it started crashing and going through one of its periodic instability phases. It just does this from time to time. It's a KDE project, so of course it does. And usually those things are solved pretty fast, but I was kind of sick of having those phases and I wanted something more stable. Now my friend Nate, who is a longtime video editor and is also on our podcast, he uses DaVinci Resolve and he pointed me towards that now. I like to say that I blame Nate for DaVinci Resolve, and I do, but that's just trolling. Really, I could have said no, but I didn't, and I, sometimes I wish that I had. So, but what's all this really about? So, I moved to DaVinci Resolve probably about four months ago at this point when I'm recording this, maybe a little bit longer, I don't actually know. It's been a while. And Vin DaVinci Resolve is a proprietary piece of software, so those of you who care that I use proprietary software, you can get down into the comments now and start constructing your virtual pitch pitchforks. But it's proprietary software, but it's also very, very good. And it's supported, and I should use some quotes here, supported on Linux. Kinda, but not really. It, they say that it's supported on Linux, they have a Linux version, but it's only officially supported on like two distros and I'm pretty sure they're Rocky Linux and like Alma or something like that. They're corporate distros. Nobody actually uses those things as desktop d distros. So though that's their where their support is. Now, I'm not going to use Rocky Linux. I have no interest in doing so. I want to use a real distro for like normal people. And Therefore, I'm kind of stuck trying to get DaVinci Resolve to work on a distro of my choosing. Now, obviously, I'm on an open SUSE challenge. I have been for the last almost two years. I have like 30 some days left at this point. I'm not going to leave a distro at this point now just to get DaVinci Resolve to work. Now, I have had some success on getting DaVinci Resolve to work on Linux at certain points. There is something called DaVinci Box out there, which is basically a way of installing DaVinci Resolve in DistroBox, and that worked for a little while, then my hard drive failed, and I couldn't get back to that working state. No matter what I tried, by the way. I just couldn't do it. Uh, I've tried literally everything. So if you are in the comments saying, try this, chances are I've done that. And, you know, I, don't, I can't actually tell you the amount of hours that I've spent trying to get this to work on my main PC. Uh, I've done a lot of things, including installing Windows, and that did work for a few days, and then Windows did its traditional thing where it messed with the bootloader, and my Windows install was gone. Poof. <laughs> you know, it's just no longer there. Uh, now, it technically is still there, it's just no longer registering as a boot option, and I can't get to it. Now, I could probably solve that, but it's Windows, and I don't want to use it. So, I, I do have a video on Windows coming up pretty soon, which is more positive than you'd expect it to be, but that's beside the point. Subscribe if you want to actually watch that. But, needless to say, I spent probably the course, better course of two weeks trying to get this computer that I'm recording this on right now to run DaVinci Resolve again. I couldn't do it. I, I I feel like such a failure that I can't do it because Nate and several other people that I know who use DaVinci Resolve use it perfectly fine on a vast array of distros, right? Now, it should be noted that one of the reasons why I have such a hard time with this particular machine on OpenSUSE is because I use an AMD card. And for whatever reason, someone at AMD pissed in Blackmagic's cornflakes. Now... The reason why I say that is because they do not like AMD whatsoever. They will not support them. They, uh, I, they've gotten a, like a smidge better at supporting them. Like they used to not support them at all. Like it used to say on their website, if you're using AMD on Linux, do not use this. It's just not going to happen, right? And now it's a little bit more like you know, it's okay. You can use it, but yeah, I'm on more of the yeah part. It just doesn't work, right? And the the biggest reason why is on OpenSUSE, or at, le at least. For me, it seems that you need the AMD Pro graphical drivers, and it is impossible to install those on OpenSUSE. It's impossible. 
Now, someone's in the comments going to say, well, I did it. No, you didn't. Okay. And if you did, I want video evidence and a written 2000 word tutorial on how to do it. Uh, and, and, and I'm, and by tutorial, I mean step by step as if an idiot could follow it because I'm obviously an idiot. I can't do it. I've spent ages trying to do it. It can't be done. Because that's the truth, at least as far as I can figure it out, I can't get DaVinci Resolve to run natively or in DistroBox any longer on this PC. So, being the Linux nerd that I am, I have multiple computers. <laughs> like, that's a thing that exists. So I do have multiple computers. I, for a while, I was using the laptop that you guys used to see sitting over here. My mom's laptop had to go to the shop. And it looks like Dell's going to pull some shenanigans and not going to fix the problem. So... She's probably going to be using that computer for a while, if not forever. So I decided, well, you know, I will hook up the desktop that I used to use, and I'm going to install Bluefin on it. Now, I chose Aurora this time just because I wanted KDE instead of GNOME, uh, but I figured I'd have some good luck on it because I used to be able to do it. This time, I got further than I did on OpenSUSE. I got it to install. I got it to launch. I did some editing. Then it crashed. And then two minutes later, again, it crashed again, over and over again. I edited about four minutes. It took me about an hour to do those four minutes. And I was like, I'm done with this. So I decided I was going to go to Pop! OS because Nate has such luck with DaVinci Resolve on Pop! OS. I couldn't get it to work. It wouldn't launch. So I was like, what is going on? Maybe I'm cursed. And maybe that's the case. I've tried it on multiple distros. I've followed the instructions. That's the thing. Like, I know I'm a dude, and we're notorious for not following instructions, but damn it, I followed the instructions. Everything that I could find. I used ChatGPT as well. I got, like, I was like, screw it, I'm going to try AI. Maybe AI will help me. AI didn't help me either. I I've asked friends. I've, I've put comments in on the Black Magic forums on how to do this. They pretty much ignore most Linux questions there, by the way, unless it's like very, very well spelled out on what's wrong and they can give you a specific answer. Otherwise, it's just ignored. But anyways, I, I have tried everything. So the point of this video isn't to say Linux is bad or to even tell you what my solution was, although you can kind of see what that solution is right here. And maybe I'll make another video about this thing here. But the point is, is that DaVinci Resolve is something that I love. Like, I, I'm... Ser I, I didn't really cover the reason why this is such a big, big deal because the, the the big deal is that I can't go back to Can Live. I tried. That was one of the things that I tried. I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm done re with res Resolve on Linux at least for now. I'm gonna go edit the video I wanted to edit in Can Live, and I did do that. the The video that I did was the what was the video that I did? I, I actually honestly forgot. It was, it was the like the one of the most recent videos that I just posted. I don't even remember. But that's beside the point. I opened up Can Live. I customized the key bindings so they were as close to the DaVinci Resolve stuff as I could possibly get. The workflow is still going to be different, but I figured at least the key bindings, the key bindings, the key bindings, the, the, the key bindings would be, you know, familiar. And it was the most painful experience. And this has nothing to do with Caden Live. Before you get in there and 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 bash me across the head, Caden Live is fine. But I'm so used to the to the DaVinci Resolve workflow now. It's proven damn near impossible to go back to Caden Live because it's just different. I'm not saying it's not any is worse. I'm just saying that it's different. And so I was like, I need Resolve. How am I supposed to get Resolve? So I was like, you know, I'll install Windows on that other PC. I couldn't get Windows to install. I couldn't it would not recognize the NVMe drive. I, I don't know why. I tried re-enabling Secure Boot thing, and that was the problem. I tried resetting the thing. I, I you guys don't even need to know. It's it's just. I've had a really rough three weeks in terms of technology, and it all centers around my need for DaVinci Resolve. So I wanted to talk about that because there are it's so good that there's proprietary software like DaVinci Resolve available for Linux. Now, I know from a FOSS enthusiast, maybe that's a very weird thing to say, but I think that in order for Linux to be more popular with normies, a lot of that software has to come here. And I'm talking about Adobe and things like that. Now, I don't think Adobe ever will. Or, same thing with like Microsoft Office and Outlook and all that stuff. I don't think that it ever will. But if we have a, the smidgen of a chance, there has to be good alternatives. And one of the greatest things I think is that Resolve is available here. So if you are a Resolve user or even a Premiere user, you can at least come here and have something 
appropriate to use if you're a video editor. Resolve is that it has a ton of awesome features. It's very, very well licensed in terms of their pricing and stuff. Like you can buy this thing for like 350 bucks or whatever, and it's yours forever. You know, like, like there's no subscription nonsense. Plus there's like a free version, which is like 99% of the pro version. Like, without any problems, so... Needless to say, Resolve is really good, and I'm so glad it's here, but for fuck's sake, is it really here if it's so hard to use? It, it, I guess is the question that I have to ask, like... And, and here's the thing, like, I, I would say this. Yeah, it's not gonna run for everybody, but if they just made a flat pack, if they just made a flat pack to make it easier to install... I think that that'd be like 90% of the problem. Like, part of the biggest issue is that it's really hard to install. Now... Most of that's because of dependencies and stuff like that. But if you had a flat pack, all the dependencies would be right there baked in. You wouldn't have any of these damn problems. And you could support it across multiple distros. All you'd have to do is make the flat pack. And then that's the distro's problem if it doesn't work. You know what I mean? So I wish they would do that. And then there's the AMD stuff. So it's really, really weird. So I don't know what's going on with my camera again. This is a brand new camera. So what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, like seriously, I, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> This is what I've been talking about. And I've been having camera issues. I've had a really rough three weeks when it comes to technology. Like, really, really, really rough. I've in reinstalled OpenSUSE three times in the last three weeks. That's three times more than I've done it in the last two years. Now, I don't know that it was more, it was really me solving anything, but it did lead me to the problem sometimes. So, like, the last time I'd had to do it was because of some weird things that I did, and it just fixed it And beside the point. Anyways... I needed to rant for a little while, and I hope that I entertained you guys while I did so. I am not going to leave DaVinci Resolve. I know somebody's going to like, well, just stop using DaVinci Resolve. Go back to Caden Live. If you spend long enough with Caden Live, you'll get back used to the full workflow. And that's probably true, but I don't want to get work to, used to the workflow. I like DaVinci Resolve's workflow. So, like I said, I have a solution here, I and I will make a video about that solution. But if you want to hear me talk about the solution that I have, and you guys know what it is, you can actually subscribe to my YouTube here uh, in terms of the, the membership or Patreon. I did a whole Patreon-exclusive podcast on that thing right there before I actually bought it. So th there's more to it, but at least I, I talked about why I did it. So you guys can find that explanation there if you're interested. So uh, I rambled for a good 14 minutes or so. I'm pretty much done and said what I needed to say. So if you have thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'm going to go figure out what my camera is doing. Uh, because it definitely should not be doing that. I think it has something to do with the place where it's plugged in, but we'll have to investigate. Anyways, comments in the comment section below. You can follow me on Ma Mastodon. That link will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon, where I do that weekly exclusive podcast every week for the patrons. That's at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for that. If you would like to support the channel, but you don't want to get nothing in return other than my thanks and gratitude, you can go pick up one of these awesome hats along with a whole bunch of other merch at shop.thelinkscast.org. There you'll find, again, all those hats and stuff and a whole bunch of other stuff. And you get something in return. I get a little bit of support. I truly appreciate it if you have done that and if you're thinking about doing that. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.